Um, not exactly where we left off, but uh, that's okay. Um, I kind of messed up and had to uh, reload the game and stuff like that. So, anyways, uh, here we are, and uh, I think now is a good opportunity to. Oh man, beautiful race. Um, to look at to try to grab onto one of these notes. There we are! Yay! We're flying. We. Oh. Anyways, uh, yeah. Um, once there are more of those doves after you've defeated more colossi, you can, yeah, yeah. there's much better chance yeah. of uh, you grabbing yeah. one. Um, but you'll always, um, <laughs> you'll always uh, like fall down eventually because they'll they only fly in that one area and they'll eventually drop you. But it's pretty impressive that they could. Uh, Hold on to uh, uh, like a, a man like that, or a young boy, or an old teenager, or something. Don't know how old Wonder is, but whatever. Um, you might have uh, just seen a hawk right there. Um, uh, in some areas of the game, like. Uh, Like uh, down here, and like, like uh, sort of the F uh, F six seven uh, G six seven H six seven area. Uh, this area is where like a lot of them will start to follow you, or like maybe even like over here in this bottom left half or whatever. Um, like you might get like four or five at a time. Um, oh yeah, and there's the body of the last Colossus. Forgot to look at him while we we're crossing. Come on, Agro, get unstuck. Yeah, so, yeah, there he is. There's the second Colossus. Anyway, so uh, let's uh, go on and. Go to the third one. So yeah, in open areas like this, I always, uh, I like, I just really feel like, uh, like just repeatedly tapping X is the best thing to do to make you go. You're not uh, constantly, uh, you're not going fast as you should. Um, so yeah, uh, I guess uh, I forgot to mention uh, lizards. Uh, at this point, uh, um, if you uh, see any with a white tail, um, then you want to shoot them with an arrow or slash them with a sword if you can, and uh, grab their tails for more stamina. Um, that tree right there is definitely not one where he would get fruit from. Uh, just want to point that out. Anyways, here's where we're going to fight the next Colossus on this. Uh, this platform thing. Uh, Agro can't swim, but I can. And uh, I believe it's faster to use your stamina bar and uh, just uh, swim under the water. You'll uh, have to do this for some later colossi. That uh, sound you just heard was the sound of the uh, stamina meter uh, uh, running out. Um, so if you're on top of a colossus, you'll uh, want to be uh, very uh, careful once you, if you hear that noise. Okay, uh, sorry about that. I had to make a quick edit. Uh, well, it wasn't a quick edit, but... Um, uh, so, um, in a slightly different spot, but, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, I was talking about, uh, being a, being a Colossus, if you hear that noise, uh, be very careful and, like, jump to a spot where you can regain some stamina or just fall off the Colossus entirely, uh, um, yeah. Okay, anyways, here we are, up to the third guy, third Colossus. 
this guy can be a great amount of trouble if you're doing him on the Harakon trials. Especially on the PS2 and PS3 version. He's insanely difficult. Because um, you have to do everything just right. And it, he, he was the hardest Colossus to, to do on, this, on the time trials. Hard mode, at least. Um, so yeah, if you, uh, you can shoot these Colossi, um, you shoot them on their, like, hairy furry bits, um, then, uh, that will actually hurt them a little bit. So I want to get this guy a decent distance away from the center. Oh yeah, and there's, uh... So yeah, that broke off that part of him, which uh, we need to do, or, well, technically you don't need to do it, um, because if, you're, uh, if you want to get the hard time trial on the PS2 and PS3 version, uh, you'll have to skip that, and it makes it really difficult. Um, so yeah. Okay, let's try to do this, right? always hold uh, your stand in the bar while he's doing that, in case you don't make it up to his very arm any time. stand here and regain some stamina. Those shakes. Okay, let's get this thing on his head. Stab before he shakes a bit. And stab again. And stab again. Okay, no, it's, uh, it's gone. Um, so yeah. Now once you do that, Go around to his back carefully and fall down to here. And go onto his belly. And uh, finish him off. And that's the third Colossus. Body. <laughs> I can still see it flopping around there. It's pretty cool. So yeah, no matter what distance you're away from these things, they'll they'll come and get you. So uh, next is uh, the fourth Colossus, obviously. Um, he's uh, not the funnest one to do. He's just kind of annoying because he can take a bit of time to do. So yeah, now there's three of those guys, which means three doves and that statue just blew up. And, uh, yay, I grabbed one again, and I fell. All right. Yeah, uh, if you uh, grab onto a hawk, uh, it'll uh, fly a bit higher for a lot longer. Um, yeah. So anyway, to, or, well, I don't know if I forgot, but I, I didn't mention yet, is uh, when you have a sword, uh, it will direct its light 
to uh, where the next Colossus is, and uh, uh, it, you can also use it uh, on uh, the, on a Colossus to figure out where its uh, weak points are. So yeah, there's a, a hawk. I can try to grab, but nope. Okay. Yeah. It's uh, down in that southern area that it's a lot, a lot easier to, to do. There are also fish that you can grab onto. I, I forget if I mentioned this, but you can grab onto the other animals. Or fish. There's a lizard, uh, but it's not a, a white-tailed one. There's another one. again. I'll skip this because it's not really important. It just gives us a view of where we're going to be fighting. I think I mentioned yet that if, uh, one thing you can do is like uh, zoom in like this. Maybe yeah. I did. Like I, for I always forget because I've been messing up this these recordings. Uh, these so I forget if I've mentioned all these things. I, I must have mentioned that. Yeah. So now I'm zooming in. Like I can control these camera movements. spot on the horse's neck there. So yeah, once their eyes turn from blue to orange, that means they're mad at you. And then you can see if you don't cross the arrow very much, you'll get a bit of a drop. But if you hold on, it'll go straight forever, pretty much. So yeah, I just want to make sure that he knows I'm here. Okay, he does. And, uh, shut down this. Go to the next one over. And be very patient. Uh, make sure you don't go far enough that he can see you. So, I have to wait till he uh, goes back and try to face his, that entrance and stomps down a few times. He stamps his uh, oof a couple times. Uh, right. Now. He's going to do it three times, I'm pretty sure. And uh, he does that. Jump and off. Oh, we missed it. Okay, well, I didn't miss it entirely. <laughs> um, so yeah, just jump onto his uh, ponytail things. And uh, climb onto the top of his head. 
So, uh, yeah, that weak spot on the back of his neck is really only there for if you do this uh, a different way and uh, climb onto his, uh, his back. speed run. Uh, maybe if you want to speed run in your head first. Because uh, on hard he gets uh, two more spots on either shoulder. Um, okay, well uh, uh, that's all we're going to do for now. Um, uh, but uh, I'll just see just a little bit of what's going on here. There's three guys now, or four guys now. I just defeated the fourth one. Uh, statue of the horse. So, okay, well, I'll see you guys in the next part.